Ever wondered what an impact in space might look like? Well, you're in luck. NASA successfully conducted a historic first attempt to slam its DART, or Double Asteroid Redirection Test spacecraft, into an asteroid nearly 7 million miles away. We've grown up watching sci-fi epics where the explosions are magnificent, but that's mostly because of how movies need to have a dramatic effect. Objects crashing into other objects are, in my opinion, way cooler when they're captured in space, and we're lucky to have our trusty $10 billion observatory to do just that. The images will provide us with critical information that we will need in the near future. While NASA shared some close-up images of the impact, it also watched the planetary defense test from afar with the help of the James Webb and Hubble Space Telescopes. The images are not the most striking we've seen from either telescope, but they could still reveal a lot of valuable information. This was the first time that Hubble and the James Webb Space Telescope have observed the same celestial target simultaneously. A milestone for the telescopes on its own, NASA proposes the data they captured will help researchers learn more about the history and makeup of the solar system. They'll be able to use the information to learn about the surface of Dimorphos, the name of the asteroid, how much material was ejected after DART crashed into it, and how fast that material was traveling. Zipping through space at the blistering speed of around 14,000 miles per hour, or 22,500 kilometers an hour, NASA's DART spacecraft slammed into the surface of a small asteroid on September 27, 2022. Even though the spacecraft was small, the collision sent large clouds of material into space, making the double asteroid system brighter by about three times. According to NASA, the observational collaboration will reveal new information about the battered asteroid. The James Webb Space Telescope observes the universe in the infrared or heat-emitting wavelengths, while the Hubble Space Telescope is a specialist in detecting optical light, the kind that is visible to the human eye. By combining observations from the two telescopes, astronomers can learn a great deal about objects in the cosmos. Both Webb and Hubble observed the Didymos binary asteroid system before the collision of the 1,235-pound or 560-kilograms double asteroid redirection test or DART spacecraft with the 525-foot-wide or 140-meters-wide moonlit Dimorphos. A moonlit is basically a small moon. The DART experiment was designed to alter the position of the moonlet around Didymos, a 2,560-foot-wide moonlet. The asteroid pair, which was some 7 million miles or 11 million kilometers from Earth when DART arrived, looked like a dot of light that suddenly got brighter when DART got there. Following the crash, the cloud of material stirred from the surface of Dimorphos spread away from the dot, gradually changing its shape. Hubble's measurements show that the brightness of the Didymos system increased by three times after the dart hit it, and this brightness lasted for more than eight hours. Webb took one observation of the impact location before the collision occurred, then several additional observations over the next few hours. The images from Webb's near-infrared camera, or NERCAM, show a tight, compact core with plumes of material streaming away from the center where the impact took place. The asteroid's speed of travel across the sky presented the flight operations, planning, and science teams with unique challenges because they needed to observe the impact with Webb. DART's teams performed additional work in the weeks leading up to the impact to enable and test a method of tracking asteroids three times faster than the original speed limit set for Webb. Principal investigator Christina Thomas of Northern Arizona University in Flagstaff, Arizona said, I have nothing but tremendous admiration for the web mission operations folks that made this a reality. We have been planning these observations for years, then in detail for weeks, and I'm tremendously happy this has come to fruition. The asteroid system will be observed in the coming months with the help of the near-infrared spectrograph, or NERSPEC and the Mid-Infrared Instrument, or MIRI. The spectroscopic data will provide insight into the asteroid's chemical composition, 
Webb observed the impact over five hours total and captured 10 images. Heidi Hamill from the Association of Universities for Research in Astronomy, or AURA, led Webb's Cycle 1 Guaranteed Time Observation Program 1245, which collected the data. Hubble also observed the binary system ahead of the impact, then again 15 minutes after DART hit the surface of Dimorphos. The images from Hubble's Wide Field Camera 3 show the impact in visible light. Ejecta from the impact appears as rays extending from the body of the asteroid. For those of you wondering, ejecta is the material that is forced or thrown out, especially as a result of volcanic eruption, meteoritic impact, or stellar explosion. The boulder fanned out spike of ejecta to the left of the asteroid is in the general direction from which DART approached. Some rays appear to be curved, but astronomers need to take a closer look to determine what this could mean. Hubble took the images with its Wide Field Camera 3 instrument. Astronomers are still analyzing the images and hope they might learn something about the surface of Dimorphos and the nature of the material ejected by the collision. For example, they might be able to tell whether the ejecta is mostly made of fine-grained dust or larger rocky fragments. The European Space Agency, ESA, which cooperates with NASA on both projects, said in a statement that they would be able to tell this. Both telescopes will continue observing the asteroid system in the coming months, according to ESA. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson said in a NASA statement, Webb and Hubble show what we've always known to be true at NASA. We learn more when we work together. For the first time, Webb and Hubble have simultaneously captured imagery from the same target in the cosmos, an asteroid that was impacted by a spacecraft after a 7 million mile journey. All of humanity eagerly awaits the discoveries to come from Webb, Hubble, and our ground-based telescopes about the DART mission and beyond. The DART mission was the first experiment ever designed to alter the orbit of a celestial body. The so-called kinetic impact strategy demonstrated by the mission might one day be used to protect Earth from a collision with a stray space rock. Don't worry, Dimorphos and Didymos pose no threat to our planet. Hundreds of ground-based telescopes are currently observing the Didymos system to determine how much the orbit of the moonlet around the main rock changed after the impact. It may, however, take several weeks to obtain the exact result. The Sia Cube, a small Italian CubeSat aboard the Hayabusa 2 spacecraft, which was released 11 days before the impact, observed the action from a distance of several hundred miles. A CubeSat is a class of miniaturized satellite based around a form factor consisting of 10 centimeters or 3.9 inches cubes. The double asteroid will also be the focus of a European mission called Hera, which will study the impact aftermath in great detail in 2027. So, what do you think? What information will this newest experiment give us? And what incredible other feats will the James Webb Telescope capture? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching Space Rumor.